Hi, this is Ethan of the AJ Meal World, bringing you another episode of Science and Sailing. Today I'm going to be showing you a skill that we use to maintain the boat and use all the time. You see this thin strip that we have tied around the end of the line? This is called a whipping. Can you guess what it's used for? Take a look at this line. See how the end is all frayed? This line does not have a whipping on it. We put whippings on the line so that it doesn't get all frayed like this. You can also use a hot knife to melt the end, but that only works if it's a plastic line. So natural fibers, that won't work. It's also not as strong and doesn't hold as easily. Although whippings are fairly easy to do, it's not as simple as just wrapping a string around the rope though. You need a rope, a piece of string or same twine, a big needle, a marlin spike, and preferably a sail palm, a sail maker's palm, also known as a leather, leather worker's palm. So to start off, I've already threaded the needle. Now I've doubled this up and actually put it so it's straight in the middle. This is an optional thing. You can actually have it a single strand. It will work just as well. It's a little bit extra at the end. The biggest difference is the bosun's preference. Some people like it one way and the others like another. As long as you're consistent on a boat, that's what counts. Now to start the whipping, you take your needle and stick it in between the lever line, poke it through, and I'm pushing the palm down on the back of the needle to help me get a lot of leverage. Because the palm of my hand is a lot stronger than just my flimsy fingers. Now I'm gonna pull it all the way through until only a little bit is left. Now I have a knot here, you're not really supposed to do that, I'm just doing it for the demonstration. Now, this part is pretty simple. After you pull it most of the way through, you're gonna wrap it around, going in one direction, making sure that all the layers are flat. You don't want them crossing over each other or twisting at all, because then it won't look as pretty and it won't be as nice. Also, it won't be as strong. You want them all flat and tied up against each other. You're also trapping the end of the rope here. This is very important because then it won't slip out. It's nearly impossible for that to slip out, especially if you pull it really tight. At this point, you can use your Marlin Spike to help you tighten it up with a special knot. That is gonna be for a later video. I'm not gonna show that just yet. Now, the goal you're gonna get is having the length of the whipping the same width as the line. So it's a relative square of rope. Now, I'm at the end of where I want it to be. This is thick enough for what I want. I'm gonna take my needle again, I'm gonna stick it inside one lay, and I'm, my goal is to get it out this other lay. So it's going straight through this one single strand. I'm gonna get my palm, wasn't perfect, let's do it. That is close enough. Push it all the way through, pull it tight. Now, it got a little loose at the end of there. This one you really wanna tighten down on your string so it looks nice and pretty. Ta-da. Now, I'm gonna take this Follow the lay. You see how I'm crossing over the string there? And then I'm going to do the same exact thing I just did, going in here and out here. Using my palm again to help me push the needle through. Again, this is not perfect. If I was doing one to permanent one, I would fix it and make try and get it as close to the lay as possible. Pull it tight again, make sure both of the strands are even. And I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna go down again this way. One of the keys is when you're pushing it through, you always wanna go the same direction. So I pushed through this strand first, then I pushed through it going the same direction up here. So instead of pushing this one this way, I'm gonna push it straight that way, going clockwise instead of counterclockwise. And again, following that same pattern, pushing it straight through. 
That one was a lot better than the last one because it's going right at the lay. Now, in the end, you'll have all three of these followed. So this is the last time I'm pushing through. Now, if you're doing it with a single strand instead of the double that I've been doing, you're actually gonna follow the whole thing again, doing each one of these three a second time, so that there's two lines per section. That is the only difference between a, doing a single strand and a double strand with this. Now, here's for the final part. I have two strands here. I'm gonna take my needle, go through this between the two strands and go out to one side. Trying to be careful not to accidentally catch one of the other strands. Uh, I'm accidentally stabbing the strand, not going under it. There we go. So I'm now going only under one of the two strands there. Pull your needle through, wrap it. You want to pull that tight, wrap it around here on top. Now that opposite strand that you didn't go through, going from the outside back in towards the center, you're going to pull that. Now you don't want to pull this tight just yet, because the last thing you can do is tie a bit of a knot by sticking this through and pulling that fully tight. You heard, if you heard that snap, that's it getting tight. Another thing you can do is separate the two strands and pull like this. That's a whipping. And that's it. Do you think this skill could be useful in your daily life or in other professions? Do you have any other way to prevent rope from getting frayed? Let us know in the comments below. And this has been Ethan with the AJ Mirror World, bringing the Bay Shore to you.